children now we will be discussing integration by parts which is very important method in finding integration of functions so far we have seen how to find integration using substitution using partial fractions we know that d by dx of u by v u into v is equal to first function derivative of second function plus second function derivative of first function so this we are already familiar in class 11th now we will use this to find to show to find integration of two functions now integrating on both sides d by dx and integration are anti reverse process therefore you will get uv is equal to integral u dv by dx into dx plus integral v du by dx into dx so this d by dx has vanished this can be written as integral u dv by dx into dx can be written as uv minus integral v du by dx into dx now i will assume this u as fx u is equal to fx and this dv by dx as gx i have assumed this u as fx and this dv by dx as gx now if you differentiate this du by dx is equal to f dash x is it okay here i am differentiating on both sides this is du by dx is equal to f dash x here if you integrate if you integrate you will get v is equal to integral gx dx i can integrate both sides i can derivative differentiate both sides so here i have if applied derivative here i have integrated on both sides now i will substitute all these values here if i apply that one i will get integral fx gx dx is equal to fx integral gx dx minus integral integral gx dx into f, f dash x dx again this can be written as integral fx gx dx is equal to fx integral gx dx minus integral this here i will write this function here and this function later that is f dash x integral gx dx whole dx this fx i have written here integral gx dx i have written here therefore if the given integrand all of us here if the given integrand is a product of two functions what are the two functions here fx and gx if the given integrand is a product of two functions fx and gx the formula will be first function integral of second function minus integral derivative of first function and integral of second function whole dx this can be written in simple way like integral uv is equal to i will not even dx also first function integral of second function minus integral first derivative of first function integral of second function and whole dx will be there with respect to x they write x otherwise with respect to y we write y so you can remember formula like this if you want so either uv formula or fx into gx formula this is called integration by parts whenever the given function is uh, a product of two functions we use uh, this integration by parts method so just now we have seen how to find integral product of two functions like uh, integral fx into gx dx sometimes while taking the first function and second function we have to take care that is number 1 we have to take the functions in the order of i late while taking the function first function and second function we follow the order of i late where i stands for inverse trigonometric function l stands for logarithmic function a stands for algebraic function and t stands for trigonometric function 
and E stands for exponential function. So in this order, we take first function and second function to avoid lengthy integration. So the integration will be very simple. Number two, sometimes if second function is not given, we take second function as one and then we integrate. For example, integral sin inverse x, we take second function as x and we find integration and so on. So sometimes we take second function as one and then we integrate. So these are the two simple nodes which we have to follow while applying u into v formula. Now let us solve some questions using integration by parts. Observe the first question. This is integral x sin 3x dx. So here in the integrand you have two functions, x is algebraic function and sin 3x is trigonometric function. Now let us follow the rule i late. Whether it is following i late or not, is it not? So a is algebraic function and t is trigonometric function, it is following. Therefore, you can write this as first function and this as second function without assuming this one two also you can solve. Just for convenience I have written. Now let us apply the formula. The formula once again recall, first function, integral of second function, I will write first function, integral of second function minus integral derivative of first function, integral of second function whole dx. Okay? According to formula, I have written the steps. Now let us integrate step by step. x, what is the integration of sin 3x dx? Is minus cos 3x whole divided by 3 minus integral. What is d by dx of x? Is 1. Sin 3, integral sin 3x is minus cos 3x whole divided by 3 and this dx I have written as it is. That means is it over? No, still integration is there, therefore it is not completed. This can be written as minus x cos 3x by 3. This minus of minus will become plus integral 1 by 3, sorry, 1 by 3 I have written outside. What is integral cos 3x? Minus of minus I remain plus. Integral cos 3x is sin 3x by 3 plus c. So with this integration is over. Now we will simplify that is minus x cos 3x by 3 plus 1 by 9 sin 3x plus c will be the complete solution of the given integrand x sin 3x. So this is the first question. Let us see second question that is integral x square e power x dx. Is it in the form of uh, product function, product of two functions? Yes. See x square into e power x dx. Again, first let us see whether it is following i late or not. Algebraic function a and exponent function e power x is e. Therefore, already it is in uh, i late form. So, this is first function and this is second function. Here, I will integrate directly. Now, let us solve second question that is integral x square e power x dx. Already it is in, it is following i late form. That is equal to first function, integral of second function is e power x minus integral derivative of first function x square derivative is 2x and integration of second function is e power x dx. Now this can be written as is equal to x square e power x minus 2 integral again we got x e power x dx first function x e power x dx that is equal to x square e power x minus 2 again first function integral of second function minus integral derivative of first function derivative of x is 1 into integral of second function is e power x and dx. Still it is incomplete until this integration symbol is there it is incomplete therefore we have to integrate further x square e power x minus 2x e power x minus of minus plus minus 2 into integral e power x dx, sorry, minus of minus plus 2 into integral e power x is e power x and plus c. So when we integrate this e power x as e power x, now there is no integral sign, now this is complete. Now this can also be written as e power x, x square minus 2x plus 2 plus c. This is the final answer for this question. See the third one integral log x dx, this can all be the solution for this 
integral integrand will be taken as formula also sometimes directly we will be using integration of log x let us see what is the integration of log x here there is no second function we will take second function as 1 that is integral log x into 1 dx is it following islet form no need because we have taken there was no second function we have taken second function as 1 now let us integrate first function integral of second function is x ok. Now, this can be written as x log x here if we cancel x x what is integration of 1 is x therefore, minus x plus c. So, what is the integration of log x integration of log x is x log x minus x plus c is the integration this can be used as a formula for integration of log x also. We will solve some more questions. Now, let us see integration of one more function that is integral x sin inverse x dx. Is it following I let just see no inverse trigonometric function should be first therefore, the function can be written as integral sin inverse x into x dx without writing this also you can assume this as first function and second function and so on. Now, we will write in standard form and we can integrate that is first function integral of second function what is integration of x is x square by 2 minus integral derivative of first function what is the derivative of sin inverse x recall 1 by root of 1 minus x square derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by root of 1 minus x square into integration of second function is again x square by 2 dx. Once again recall I have not written the formula first function integration of second function minus integral derivative of first function integral of second function dx. If you simplify this can be written as x square sin inverse x whole divided by 2 minus otherwise this I will write as minus x square 1 by 2 I will write outside whole divided by root of 1 minus x square dx just check whether I can write like this or not. This minus I have written minus x square here this 2 I have written 1 by 2 outside therefore, 1 by 2 integral minus x square by root of 1 minus x square. I have not one, noted one point that why I have written like this now I will add and subtract 1 here 1 minus 1 why this 1 minus x square by root of 1 minus x square will become root of 1 minus x square and I can separate. Therefore, this can be written as x square sin inverse x whole divided by 2 plus 1 by 2 integral what is 1 minus x square by root of 1 minus x square is root of 1 minus x square dx minus integral 1 by root of 1 minus x square dx these two I have separated 1 minus x square by root of 1 minus x square is root of 1 minus x square and so on. Now, that is equal to x square sin inverse x whole divided by 2 plus 1 by 2 just recall integration of special functions particular functions root of 1 minus x square which is in the form of integral root of a square minus x square form the formula is I will say the formula and I will write the step as per the question x by 2 root of a square minus x square means 1 minus x square plus a square by 2 a square by 2 means 1 by 2 a square by 2 sin inverse x by a x by a means x by 1. So, recall the formula of root of uh, a square minus x square dx minus what is integration 1 by root of 1 minus x square a is a sin inverse x plus c there is no integration. Now, if you simplify x square sin inverse x whole divided by 2 plus x by 4 root of 1 minus x square plus 1 by 4 sin inverse x minus 1 by 2 sin inverse x plus c. Here these two can be clubbed that is equal to x square sin inverse x whole divided by 2 plus x by 4 into root of 1 minus x square and this can be written as minus 1 by 4 sin inverse x plus c. So, 
this will be the solution for the question integral x sin inverse x dx. Similarly, you can solve integral x cos inverse x, integral x tan inverse x and so on. Let us see what will be the solution for integration of x tan inverse x. That is integration of x tan inverse x dx. Again, this also can be written as integral tan inverse x into x dx because I let formula first function is tan inverse x and second function is x. That can be written as first function integration of second function x square by 2 minus integral derivative of first function. What is the derivative of tan inverse x? Is 1 by 1 plus x square. So, 1 by 1 plus x square and integration of x is x square by 2 dx. So, this can be written as x square tan inverse x whole divided by 2 minus integral x square 1 by 2 I will take outside by 1 plus x square. Here also I have to do a little manipulation that is I will add and subtract 1 here that is 1 plus minus 1 dx. So, what I have done here? I have added and subtracted 1 so that this 1 plus x square and 1 plus x square will cancel in the next step you will get minus 1 by 1 plus x square. So, that can be written as x square tan inverse x whole divided by 2 minus 1 by 2 this is integral 1 dx minus integral 1 by 1 plus x square dx. So, this can be written as x square tan inverse x whole divided by 2. What is integration of 1? Is x that is minus x by 2 minus of minus plus 1 by 2. Integration of 1 by 1 plus x square is tan inverse x. Good. Is tan inverse x plus c and this will be the solution for this question. If you want you can simplify. <coughs> now, let us solve one very important question which is integration e power x into sin x plus cos x dx. This can be written as integral e power x sin x dx plus integral e power x cos x dx. This is equal to integral e power x sin x dx plus integral cos x e power x dx. I am applying uv for this that is integral e power x sin x dx. You might have got one doubt, sir why you have not changed this? This I will not be changing, I will keeping as it is, we will see later. Now, this is first function and this is second function, apply by parts formula.